most of us have worked on Excel data entry, manually write it and use formulas for further calculation. In case of any changes in the source data sheet, you may have modified it in all connected sheets as well, manually or struggle through techniques. What if I tell you I got easy multiple methods for it? Hello there, this is Fariha Tulmi from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Let's see four methods using Excel 365. You can use them in any of the available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. We will extract a weather forecast data set from a website in our worksheet and add settings to update it automatically. Make sure to have your internet connection before trying this method. This is the website that we will use as a source. Copy its link. Now we could just manually copy and paste this data set into our worksheet, but that won't get you the automatic update feature. For that, let's go to our worksheet first. Here from the data tab under the get and transform data group, choose from web. Here paste the URL. Okay. From the access web content, go for the ext extension from this drop down. Here goes the ext extension. Click on connect. Now we get a navigator window where we can see the table format. If we select this table zero option. Here the load option will extract the database into the worksheet directly. So you can use that in case you don't want to modify the source table. But we have some data which needs modification. So let's go along with transform data option. Now we can see the power query editor window. Let's minimize the queries view and query setting. There are 13 rows and 15 columns. Let's work with 6 columns and remove 7 unwanted columns. Let's try for conditions. Right click on column header and select remove. We can remove multiple columns as well. Let's choose comfort paint. Click on control and shift key together. Select sun UV. Click on remove columns. Now we can see that we have six columns day conditions temperature conditions weather comfort feels like sun sunrise and sun sunset now from the home tab under power query editor choose the close and load drop down here click on close and load 2 we will import this table in our existing worksheet let's choose existing worksheet and for position let's select b2 since our worksheet name is web that is why the cell reference is WebSheet and P2. Okay. Now we need to connect this table to auto update. Let's click on any of the cells and go to the refresh all drop down, which is under the group of queries and connections. Select connection properties. Here we need to check this box so that it refreshes every 60 minutes. You can choose different interval for your refresh as well. Hit OK. Now, after every one hour, this table will be updated along with the website. Let's use this data set as source data and create a pivot table that will update the database automatically. Select the whole data set. Now go to insert tab and from the tables group, select the pivot table drop down and choose from table or range. The table range is already selected. Now let's choose a new worksheet where we will place the pivot table. Okay. Here we will choose category for column, product for rows and quantity for values. You can see that our pivot table is already generated. Now if you make any change to the source table, let's say we will type 50 for apple in fruit category. You can see that apple in fruit category is not updated. To update the change, you can just right click on any of the cell within the pivot table and from the context menu, select refresh. You can see that it's already 50. Now, 
If you want to refresh every time you open the workbook, right click on any cell and go to pivot table options. Here from the data tab, select this one to refresh data when opening the file. Click OK. Now let's choose quantity as 20. As we can see, the Apple quantity is still not updated. Now let's save the workbook and close it to open it again. Control S to save, close. Now we can see that the quantity for Apple under category of fruit is updated, just as the source table. Now we will use Visual Basic Application or VBA to enable auto refresh. It works instantly if there is any change in the source table. We will create a pivot table from this dataset. Select dataset, insert pivot table, and we want our pivot table in new worksheet. So new worksheet. Okay. From here, let's go with product for rows, category and columns and quantity and values. Now to enable auto refresh, let's select the source table VBA and right click on it. Select view code from the context menu. This is the VBA editor for sheet 4 or source table. Let's select worksheet from this drop down and instead of selection change, let's select change. We can just delete this part since we won't be needing this. Here, type the following command. This workbook dot refresh all. From the suggestions, we can already see that. Let's use tab key. Now, let's close the window. And now, if we select 30 as quantity for Apple, let's look at sheet 2. The Apple quantity is already updated. Easy, right? Here, we will use cell reference across worksheets to automatically update database. Here, we have a source table as a data set. Here are the unit prices given for specific products. Now, in our database worksheet on cell E3, type equals. Now, go to source data and click on C3. Enter. So, we can see that cell E3 is getting the value of cell C3 of the previous worksheet. Let's use fill handle to drag this formula down to E9. Now, if we change the quantity of Apple, let's say 50, we can see that it is updated itself automatically. From these four methods, you can use any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you are able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.